أفضل أيام أيام الدنيا وحف على العمل الصالح فيها بل إن الله تعالى أقسم بها وهذا وحده يكفيها شرقا وفضلا إذ العظيم لا يقسم إلا بعظيم Uh, all praises and adorations are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Lord of the universe, uh, the compassionate Allah Azza wa Jalla, uh, our creator, our benefactor, uh, the sustainer of the heaven and earth. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send his abundant blessings and mercies upon the soul of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his family, uh, those who... Uh, participated in jihad uh, with him and those who continue to remain on his clear path to the day of resurrection. Uh, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to count you and I among those people, my dear brothers and sisters in faith. Uh, today, inshallah, we we'll try to just remind ourselves, we we'll remind uh, about the, uh, the virtues of the first 10 days of the hijjah the virtues of the hijjah actually i wasn't the one to uh, give a speech today but due to the qadar of allah azza wa jalla so uh, it happened that's how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted it uh we are in the moment uh the hajj moment the years of or the month of hajj uh the month of ibadah the month of afkar the month of uh, the devotion in worshiping of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my dear brothers and sisters in faith, you and I, or some of us, might have it in our mind that uh, he or she wants to go to Hajj, but due to the restriction made, forced to be made by the government of uh, Saudi Arabia, that uh, Hajj of this year will be restricted, uh, not for the outsider, it's going to be within the uh, the Haramain al Sharifain, Al Haramain al Sharifain in Mecca and Medina only to those who are living in this country only. So that's the qadar of Allah Azza wa Jalla. That's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, wanted in this year. But Alhamdulillah, uh, it's only Hajj, Arafah, we have been restric restricted. Uh, from, but we other ibadah still remain. Ibadah still continue. Ibadah is still there for you and I to engage ourselves in. Uh, Friday in khutbah, we mentioned about the the importance, the virtues, the benefits, the advantages of these blessed days. Mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his glorious book and portrayed by our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say one of the ayah that indicate the importance of these uh, 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 this, uh, blessed days is Surah Al-Fajri, the second ayah. Allah says, Wal-Fajr, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Allah says, Wal-Fajri, wa layalin ashir. Allah says, well, Fajri, Allah swear, Allah swear an oath with Al Fajru. You and I, we all know what is Al Fajru. Al Fajru is down. Down. Al Fajru, Allah swear with this. Walayalin Ashir, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also swear with 10 days. Which 10 days Allah is referring to? The scholars, Ridwan Allah alayhim jamian, Mufassirun. The explanators of the Quran started from the uh, our Sahaba Ridwan Allah Alihi, Abdullah ibn Abbas, uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, Mujahid, wa Zubair, wa wa ghairuhum. Hatta al Mufassirun, al min al Aimat al Mufassirin, ka Imam uh, Ibn Kathir. Also, they all say these ten days is referring to. The Vilhijjah, the first ten days of Vilhijjah. You see, Walayal in Ashir, ten nights, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that he swear with it in this ayah is referring to these blessed days that is coming. 
that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to, said by all these scholars that I mentioned, that that's what Allah meant when he say, walayalin asher. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swear with wal fajiri. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swear with days. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swear with all these things? Allah will not swear with things except that thing is very important to him. Swearing by things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created is signified or indicated uh, indicate to the importance of that thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swear with this. Swearing with these days shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor these days that we are mentioning. Just like you and I. If you want to swear now, you swear with the most important things to you. If a president, which is the number one citizen of the country, if he wants to proud, he proud of the thing that his achievement, that during my own tenure, I provided the, the, voluntary, uh, the job opportunity, uh, free education, all these um, the things that the government or the political people used to campaign of. He will boast with this. We're proud of it, this. Why? Because that's the his achievement. Even though he was the one that did this thing, but this is what he knows that is very special to him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the one that created the heaven, earth, days, month, night, and everything. So when he wants to swear, he swear with the things that is very important to him, which is layal and ashri, 10 nights. Allah also swear with wal asri. Well, actually, the moment, the period, Allah swear with this thing. We show that this thing are important to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by swearing with this, indicates the importance of it. In another surah, in Surah Al-Hajj, verse 28, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also say, وَيَذْكُرُوا إِسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي آيَامٍ مَعْلُمَاتٍ And وَيَذْكُرُوا إِسْمَ اللَّهِ They mentioned the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being mentioned, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these known days, in these uh, special days. So, which shows that, uh, alhamdulillah, as a Muslim, uh, we're having uh, a good opportunity, a golden opportunity, which is ahead of us to engage ourselves in it. So far, Lati la to do long ba liki ola ni ko nto on ko de tu lo mo pe ori tu ni fun na la pa kan na pe tori pe kini gbogbo ti olorun ba liki ola wa se yalla ta ba ri ni ri aburu ni muslimi a wa ori nbe na ni ko de je si pe ori ni fun wa a tu dupe fun olorun ba a liki ola le lori na ni e ri so a lo si aje odun yi ko ni pe ka ma se bada a ba ogun ara fa odun yi ko ni ka ma se iran ti oluwa olorun ba liki ola tori pe a lo si aje na eh tele na a le se gbogbo awon ibada na ti olorun ba le ke lati mention ala ko kon be na ni pe pataki osu owo ti a fe mu yin tin se velhija olorun ba le ke ola o gura pelu awon osu yi e pelu awon ojo yi pelu awon oru yi oru mesan yi oru me 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 wa ni bo ojo mesan ni a gba lero pelu e sala ma sala yi ni fosi wewe so olorun ba le ke ola gura pelu awon ojo yi in to fi mu olorun ba liki ola lati fi bura pelu awon ojo e o tun mo si pe kini na se pataki lodo olorun ba liki ola ni because olorun ba liki ola ki nso ba tin man sha wada kiri en se yoba ti kuwari kan se na lo fi wa se ri debe o si be ninu oroyin olorun ba liki ola so olorun ba liki ola fi ojo e bura o wa fi joyu wa pe in to olorun ba fi bura o kini na o pataki ni kini na o pataki ni olorun ba liki ola fi bura ninu surat al fajr taqat wa kana Allah tori ye anwa nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ni nwa igba wati afa wa agbani Abdullah oma abbas ki olan ba alike olan kumasha shayi alikun ke ati gefun afa na ati babare Abdullah ibn abbas radiyallahu alihuma kala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam usak bon shi olan ba alike olan ba yi soba ipi ma min ayyami la amali as salihi fiha ahabu ila allahi min hadhi la ayyami kusi anwa jolori leh 
to jazi pe o fin du mo olorun ba le ki ola ninu jo ti o le fi sise to fin du mo olorun ba le ki ola ninu to to awon ijo mewa i to si ojo na lori ile ipe ti o fin du mo olorun ba le ki ola ninu ti o le fi sise si waju olorun ba le ki ola to fin to ojo mewa i ele wa ya won sahaba le nu gba ton gbo ile tori pe akoko ni ti ele yo de e ti gbo won o ya won lenu qalu ya rasulullah ah ere mi se olorun ba le ki ola ati pe le ri o so eni to ba jade nsin to na gbogbo wu e to se gbogbo igbin oju na ko ti le ni lada ehun ise ti an ba se ni je osu mewa be ni an bi ni be ni ko ti le ni o on wala jihadu fi sabili lai eni to ba wa jagun soju ona ba olorun ba le ki ola to fi lele to fo mole to fe bile to farale ta ti jagun soju ona olorun ba le ki ola so na ko ni lada re ko to tele yi ala mi ni wala jihadu fi sabili lai ani jihadu fi sabili lai ko to illa rajulun aya fi iraq ni kan iya kan خرج بنفسه وماله ثم لم يرجع من ذلك بشيء ثم لم يرجع من ذلك بشيء ان كان تو جاري pelu owo re pelu dukia pelu gbogbo nitoni pelu emi re ti o wa dari pelu nkan kan nu re eni gan gan ohun la le so pe ise ti tu le fe ju ise ijo mewa ilo to fin josi agbe hadisi ohun toka di ipataki ojo mewa zulhijai to ja si pe gbogbo anu la fe ka se oju okuru alapa ntete lati ri anfani ati ore to wa ninu ojo mewa ibere zulhijai ari afa wa abdullah ibn umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ma qala ba shi yon fun afa ya ti baba won awon na tu so ninu agba wa won oni kunta in kuntu in the in the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam kuntu in the kuntu in the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam awon be lauda anabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam فذكرت له على اعمال فقال هو وان صفو النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هو شيء نوري هو اللي هو شيء هو شيء هو اللي شيء فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هو فون ليسي ما من ايام العمل فيهن افضل من هذا العشر هو سي شيء هو جو تو فين لوري تو هو جو مي وا اي هو سي اوجو مي لوري لي تو فين لوري تو هو جو مي وا ذل حجاي لوري لي afa wa abdullah ibn umar ni anabi so be fun ah won wa se mo wa ni fa qalu ya rasulullah awon bere ero se olorun ari jihad fi sabili la ani se ka jagun soju ona olorun ba le ki ola ke mi wa ko lo si se na ko ise ko ju ise ta ba se ni jo mewa ilo ni anabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam says wala jihad illa an yakhruja rajulun bi nafsihi wa malihi fi sabili llahi thumma takuna mujatun nafsuhu fihi aya fi en to ja si pe kini to jade pelu emi re ati owo re ati gbogbo to ni lati fi jagun soju ona olorun ba le ke ati wa para se pelu nkan ninu re ele lo fi tun lo laju awon ise ti an le se ninu awon ijo mewa ilo eri in ta fe fa yo na ni pe ijo mewa ijo to pataki pupo ni to ja si pe muslimi agudo lo advantage ibe lati fi sumo olorun ba le ke ola na awon afa wa ni pe ki ngba ta so po ijo mewa i pataki ka ma gba gba ma ti so tole na ri pe Leilatul Qadri ijo mewa oru mewa gbe yin Leilatul Qadri bo la se wa fe se pelu ojo yen ojo mewa Leilatul Qadri ta ma wa Leilatul Qadri ta de so pe oba ojo wa ninu re ti se ojo Leilatul Qadri bo la se wa fe se ehun ehun laani oro mejeji e pe ojo mewa kan na tu wa tutu lola awon ojo gun afesin won fa laani ara won awon mi so pe iro oru Leilatul Qadri ati jo mewa eh la la tu le kodri owo gbe yin ramadan o lo reju ojo ilo awon mi ni ara ojo mewa ile o lo reju la la tu le kodri lo asen wa asen bo atu wa ninu awon afa ti won tu mu awon igbin oju ti won ninu deduction won ngba ti won mu awon alaye ti won wa ni pe ojo mewa ile yi o ta nso ojo mewa ibere osu yi ojo yin awon ojo re ni desi awon osan re o lo reju osan ojo mewa igbe yin ramadan lo ama oru igbe yin mewa ramadan o fi lo reju oru ojo tele lo e alaye kan tinu awon afa ojo gbon esin ti won sha alaye ni lori oro yen alaye yen o de o kun dada to de se ba mo pelu iti awa na wo pe boya o wole wallahu alam so tori je yi ojo mewa o se pataki bo ki gbogbo aka lo advantage lati fi sumo olorun ba le ki ola our my dear brothers and sisters in islam we are in the Uh, first 10 days of the hijjah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith uh, reported by imam al-bukhari narrated by abdullah ibn abbas 
also narrated by Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. They said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there are no days during which the righteous action is so pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these days, these first 10 days. So the Sahaba, they ask, they question the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with due respect. What about jihad of his What about striving in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Don't you think this action is bigger than this? This the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, No, what al jihad of his Striving in the cause of Allah is not except a person, a man that goes out with his money, his wealth, and his property, everything, and he spent it in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he never comes back with anything there. So this is the only person that is uh, 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 having opportunity or a greater position in the sight of Allah than uh, the actions in this, or the deeds in this like, first 10 days of the Hijjah. So Imam Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, uh, the one that explained the book of uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, Fatih al-Bari, Imam Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, for that man in his own explanation, he said, وَالَّذِي يَذْهَرُ أَنَّ سَبَبَ فِي إِمْتِيَازِ عَشَرِ ذِي الْحِجَّةِ To my own opinion, what makes these days very important and very significant to Muslims is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it uh, uh, possible that most of the ibadah, most of the essential ibadah in our religion fall into these days, which is number one, a salat. In these days, we go to observe Salat in these days. So number two, Asiyam, fasting also fall in these days because it is highly recommended to fast in these first 10 days of the Hijjah. Number three, Asarako, charity, giving hands in these particular days is just like multiple in rewards. If you give Sarako, the multiple, Allah will multiply the reward for you. While Hajj, I'm going to Hajj also is in this month. And Arafah, remember, Arafah this day also fall into these days. Arafah is a day that the Prophet says, whoever goes to Hajj and he doesn't uh, climb the mountain of Arafah, he doesn't have Hajj, no Hajj for that person. So therefore, these days is important with all these uh, deeds that we uh, mentioned now. So, وَيَوْمُ عَرَفَ يَوْمُ الْحَجِّ الْأَكْبَرِ Yawm Arafa is the day of the uh, big Hajj. That if you go to Hajj and you don't do Arafa, no Hajj. Why? Because Yawm Arafa wa huwa Yawm Maghfira. This is the day that Allah will forgive His servant. The servant will return, will be purified from his sin as if he has no sin before. Well, Yawm Maghfira to the the day this, the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will purify his servant from, the, from their sin. Wa Yawm al min al niran And this is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that he's going to free his slaves from fire. Those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed to go to air fire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will free them. So these, these days fall into these, uh, uh, these blessed days that we were talking about. And also the day that we slaughter our uh, sheep, our ram, goat, cow, uh, what do you call camel, any other thing that Islam uh, uh, permitted us to, to, to slaughter, uh, it's also in this day. Yawmu, Yawmu Nahar, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says is one of the big uh, day. Even though that's another narration from the, the scholar, Adam al Ayami in the Lai, Yawmu Nahari, Fumma Yawm al Qar. They say one of the greatest day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the day of uh the day of Eid, al Eid al Akbar, the uh our Eid uh feast. So it is one of the big day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But before a Muslim can get all this reward and all this opportunity, we have some preparation to prepare before we can have this advantage. The Ayy Shay Nastakbalu Ashar of the How do we welcome these blessed days? How do we welcome these blessed days? Awalan, a tawbatun as sadiqa, the total repentance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah say, Ya ya ladina amanu, tubu ila Allahi, tawbatan nasuha, O my kind, Ya ya ladina amanu, O do you believers, tubu ila Allahi, tawbatan nasuha, repent to your Lord, the total repentance. 
total repentance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's one of the way of welcoming these blessed days. Any sin that you and I have been engaging ourselves in it, please, for the sake of Allah, so that we can have this barakah of this month, of these blessed days, let us uh, try as much as possible to repent. Let us try and repent from our sin, uh, so that before these days comes, inshallah, the days, inshallah, is going to start from uh, this uh, uh, coming Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday will be the last day, and it's the day of Arafah. So what, where is the last, where is the first 10 days that we mentioned then? Because we only count nine days. The scholar, whenever they say, Ashar of the Lahijah, the 10 days of the Lahijah, they are referring to nine days fasting. When they say, Layal and Ashri, it's referring to fasting. The fasting in it is nine days, not 10 days. Probably maybe they count the, uh, the Eid, the, the first day of Eid, because we are, uh, uh, it is recommended for us to go to Eid uh, without uh, eating anything. It's when we come back, we eat uh, food. Because uh, this is the Yawm uh, Eid al-Akbar. So it is soon of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for us to go and come back and eat when we come back from this uh, Eid. So Ayam Ashar of the Hijjah, nine days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The Thursday will be the Yawm Arafah, at least the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is for all of us to fast in, during these days. We should all engage ourselves in fasting in these days. If it is possible, and if it is not possible, maybe due to our uh, health condition, we should try as much as possible to come with uh, nawafil, nafila, a lot of nafila, uh, salatu duha. Let's try and pray it. The 12 superirrogatory nafila after the uh, before salat and after salat, like two before salat al fajri, uh, four nafila before salat al dhuhr. Two nafila after Salat al Two nafila after Salat al Maghrib, and two nafila after Salat al Isha, making it twelve. Let's try, let's try as much as possible to come with all these uh, deed during these days. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has recommended this for us, and Inshallah, Allah will accept our better. So before we can uh, welcome these days, we have to repent to Allah. Let us repent to Allah. Taubatun as from our sin, the major sin, the minor sin. Please let us repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, al azmu al jaddu ala ikhtinami adil ayam. Let's try and work hard to utilize this uh, opportunity that is coming to utilize these days to fast, to fast, to do sadaqah, uh, to tie the family bond, any kind of goodness. Let's try as much as possible to uh, uh, prepare our mind before this this comes. Number three, Ali and let's try to refrain from sin. Even though we know we always commit sin every day, it's, that's the nature of human being. But that particular days, let's try as much as possible to stay away from sin so that we can have barakah of these blessed days. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make it easy for you and I. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, and thanks for not picking me. Ojo me wa yi, ojo tu she kwa takini. Taba ti soko ojo me wa oshu vile hija. Inti a wa fa e sin so mbe nan nipi ojo me san. Kwe ka fi gba wa yi, tu me nan ni ye. So go gwa nan de ni afeka gwi yon jula ti gba a wenu. Ojo me wa a wenu oshu vile hija yi. Taba ni agbara, a wata ba ni agbara. A wan nan fila kama gwi yon jika ma shida den. Uri shiri shi nan fila. A de ka nan fila meji la. To jazi kwe sunna nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anabi yon ki yin sabah agbe ju sile. Oman sabah ki loko loko ba. Meji kato ki yon al-fajari. Meji meni kato ki yon dhuri. Yon ayila. Meji taba ki yon ayila tan yon dhuri. Meji la yin ba taba ki yon ma grubi tan. Ati meji la yin ba te yaba ki yon ishay. Ele yi jesi ya wanshi lo di ti yaka donri ma. Hatu shi okolopo dua. 
ka bi Elohun lopolopo gba ka ma ni aya ta tin bere na lati jo ina ati iri apere ki awa na ka po kon ko so do Elohun ba le ke ola pe ko si eni to le se ko se to le gba dua to ko jo Elohun ba le ke ola muslimi Allah ti ni adi okan yen to da to da wa loju pe Elohun ma gba dua mi se ninu o em o su ta wa un la dua mi ma gba ti gbogbo ana ba ni ele lokan wallahi to fi da loju pe Elohun ma gba dua wa amo eni to n gba dua to ja si po kan ti egun o duro lori adua to n gba to ja si po kan ti egun lo n bo ni Shalom my bani, I be putting bani. On go to go to do I or to tea down. I'm almost to me good on the local people who go along. I do I meet him when she, Nino shoe or boy, Nino shall barricade no shoe up, Malay, who go along by the Kalamaka. Tabar feeling near and here, go lot top. What he told, and a Jacama woo, a jaw, you see. Bogum got here, our Amansaba achieve in life where everything about me determination for me. But yeah, and by a shack on your very arch, your very bani. A bi um omo kan ni ngbi yo lati ba soro ti o ti ti ko gbo lati jo e gbe ta ba tenu mo lopolopo gba ta ba ye ta gbo ta ta ye tenu mo omo na ma pada gbo alaye wa so eleyi sunna nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ka gbe yanju ka ma ja kan ka biri ngbugbo ta ba nfe ngwa ju olorun ba le ki ola ni ejo me wa yi ko ma ku enikan lori le pe ti a ma je ru olorun ba le ki ola ti o ni ni awon asiko kan ti o mo fi be olorun ni kikan kikan ti yo yato si bo se nbe olorun tele gbogbo awon to ba mo ka ninu adua ko ti ko jo gbogbo obere re ko ko si waju olorun ba ni ke ola particularly to ba di ya mo arafa ti se jo cause ka wa wo albarika meji lo tu pa pa ko si ojo na ijo cause tele ojo awe ni o tu wa bo si jo ya mo arafa tolorun tun ni ki a tu gba awe so advantage am fani meji so so lo wa nbe fun wa ni jo yen so ki gbogbo ana ka take advantage ka lati bi small on dada lati le fi tu gba ore lodo olorun ba ni ke ola gbogbo to n ba wa lokan je lati fi fi eh lati fi ejo oro wa lati fi sun olorun ba le ki ola lati fi to olorun ba le ki ola lo lati salayi gbogbo edun okan wa gbogbo ta wi si itani ati ta wi si ta gbogbo e na ka tun tun so fun olorun ba le ki ola pelu gba gbo pe olorun ba le ki ola de ma gba adua wa insha Allah pelu go olorun ta ba se le olorun gba adua wa ba kan na en to fe gba to fe ko olorun gba adua un ko no gbin oju ko bora ko ni bi ese ma foju kere ese kan pe ese yin ese ke kere ni mi oro pele wa gburo je nti o je ti o di adua ni lati ma gba ko ma foju kere ese ko ma foju kore ese bo ti ko le kere mo ese le se ma je so ki a gbiyanju ki a jina si ese ni awon asiko yi ka le ba fi ni albarika awon ojo yi so ka gbiyanju dada ele ni ti islam fe ki emi ati ka 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 gbiyanju ni ojo mewa ibere vel hija kolon ba le ki ola ko ma sha fun ni kokon wa ni agboye re ko ma sha fun wa ni albarika ojo na ko je ka ri gba kolon ba le ki ola ore to wa nbe kolon ma sha le ki ola ko ma sha fun le ni kokon wa lowo gbogbo nta ti nbere lowo olohun ti o ti to wa lowo lati jo e ja ku papo ka ko gbogbo elojidi ka ti si waju olohun ni awon desi lati jo wednesday lo titi titi di jo thursday thursday ekeji so o se to ma tele ka fi bere lowo olohun ba le ki ola pelu okan pelu aniyan to mo kanga kanga pe pelu ogbo olohun se alolohun ma gba dua mi pelu ogbo olohun se alolohun ma gba dua mi a wo lo ba to gba ta won ta na wo lo ba to gba won ta won te ni wona lo gba temi ku se lomi to le gba se ani wo ni se ka wa na mo amo daju yen ka ni amo daju pe ani mo ni confidence ni nu olohun ba le ki ola alo ma gba dua mi pe so ti ya wa na ba ni wu mind the bai olohun ma le ke ma fi gba dua amo muslimi to ba ye pere o ni muslimi to mo ma gba dua so do olohun ba le ki ola tokun re ma wa nbo mi abi to ma ma o kan ma wa se yi meji pe a kan se awon afa ni a sha adua na a sha n sisha a sha n sisha wo adua beyin won tete gba adua a sha n sisha olohun ba go fe awa na a wa gan a ni gba wo nkan beyin te yan kan ta ba mo pe npon wa le latari pe kini tori to fe gba lo wa rasan ni to ba ti ni to fe gba lo wa ku ni pon wa le mo awa go ni a ni regard we yan 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 tori pe kini a mo pe tori to fe gba lo wa rasan ni pon wa le awon ta na ba mu pe a ni mo gbe lolohun se mo gbe lolohun ba le ki ola mo gbe la lagbara ni se ani mo gbe ni provider ko se n to le provide ko se n to le se pe se aya fi lolohun ba le ki ola mo lu gbe lo mo gbe lolohun ma se fun wa ko lo ma sha se ni ron fun eni kokon wa na on ki na on ise ta wa fe ka se ni ma yi sahabu fi adil aya awon ti o lo ri ta fe ka se ati ka ninu e ka se opolopo salat siyam awe ka gbe yan ju ka se da da ninu e gẹ bi opolopo awon afesin bo se ma n gba awe gba won salafu soli awon eni re tu di saju awon do joyan ma fi n gba awe ni on ma fi sumo olohun ba le ki ola 
بقى نوع وافكار التكبير والتحليل والتحميد قولوا الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر it is highly recommended for us to engage in this afkar in these days should be doing it time to time on Wednesday on the 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 uh, uh, from Wednesday inshallah saving this afkar and not only this one any other afkar that you know and we have the uh muqayyad and mutla the one that is restricted that every after salat after salat al fajr we say it after salat salat al dhuhr we say it after salat al asri every salat we say it then we have the one that we, we see at any time you are going out you are walking you are driving just with saying a lot of afkar from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one prescribed by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam different afkar let us try and say it in these uh, days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah we accept our dua so it is highly recommended that uh, we should take the advantage of these days with the opportunity and uh, with the uh, rewards that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised us on the tongue of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To remind you again, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, whoever fast, take it, it that day to fast, Yawm Arafah, Allah will forgive his shortcomings, his sin, the previous one and the upcoming one. Imagine, if you take a day, Yawm Arafah only, to fast, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for you to know the, uh, to, to, uh, the taking this day so important to you, Allah will use it to expiate your sin, the previous and the upcoming one. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us prepare our mind. Let us prepare our mind. Even though if it is difficult for us to fast the whole nine days, but we can take two or three days and we can uh, do it one day, one uh, on and off. If you fast on Wednesday, if Thursday is difficult for you, you can switch it to Friday. Then Saturday off, Sunday fasting. If it is only five days or four days, we can uh, fast during these days. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we accept it. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our ibadah. Amen. Now, Yawm al-Eid, Yawm al -Eid, the day of Eid. What, what does the Islamic uh, the, enjoin you and I to do on these days? Of course, if we have the opportunity, if we have the opportunity, we go to Eid. But as at now, with the uh, try to be uh, uh, very careful, and the, with the difficulty in mentioned at the in the in the and try to pray this salat. It is very difficult for us. We try to measure it from different angles, both the mission board and all, all our uh, the executives. So we've tried as much as possible. We've been working out, inshallah, to make sure that we'll be able to pray this Eid at our mosque in, in, in Jama. But unfortunately, what we concluded is that uh, we're going to do it virtually. We're going to do it virtually D due to this uh COVID-19 the COVID-19 because to be honest with you uh, those who have been contaminated with this will be able to tell more about this so those of us that we have not been affected we might see it like eh, but we can do it now we can do it but if you go to those who have been affected with this they'll be able to exp explain to you in details what they face during uh, during this period so that is why we don't want to expose ourselves to tempt, uh, to fitna. We don't want to expose ourselves to problems. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us ruqsa. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has given us the advantage, the opportunity. If it is not possible for us to gather together to pray in jama'ah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows our intention. So we recommend brothers and sisters, our mother and father, please, we are begging you. We're begging you. We're all pursuing the same goals. Our intention is to open the mosque and pray uh, the the uh, salat al Eid in congregation, but due to the circumstances of the uh, COVID nineteen that is that has been uh, uh, increased in a few days ago, so we try to measure it in different angles and to foresee the uh, uh, what would be the uh, the the outcome of it if we uh, go uh, pray it. So we see that. 
it is going to come out in negative. So that is why we try to restrict ourselves from this. But if anything, if possible, if anything change within these days, we might uh, reverse back the case. But as of now, what the mission board suggests and concluded on is that uh, we're going to do our aid virtually. So everybody will uh, 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 beg you to pray your Salatul Eid at home with your family. We pray your Salatul Eid at home with your family. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows your intention. So your intention, your action is going to be judged by your, uh, your by your intention. Allah already know your intention. Your aim is to come to pray in congregation. So if you cannot go to to eat and pray in congregation due to this uh, COVID nineteen, of course Allah will reward you the same reward of the person that goes to uh, uh, eat. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Please let us uh, try uh, to abide by the uh, uh, the suggestions and the recommendation from our mission board and the all other uh, members of the committee. Please and please, we are begging you. So, inshallah, we will try and see what we are going to do on each day to, and particularly our uh, the children, to engage them in kind of activities. But we recommended it for every one of us. Inshallah, we should try particularly uh, men to come to Salatul Juma because probably Eid inshallah is going to fall on that day. Eid and Salatul Juma is going to fall on that day. And the Sunnah is that if you pray Salatul Eid, the Salatul Juma is not compulsory on you anymore. During the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it happened that the two Salat uh, uh, happened to uh, fall in the same day. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam observed Salatul Eid. After Salatul Eid, he announced to the uh, his member that whoever wants, Faman Shah Fali Yusalli, whoever wants should come and pray Salatul Juma, which shows that when, once the Prophet doesn't say whoever wants, it shows that that thing is not important, it's not compulsory anymore. If it is compulsory, the Prophet will, not, will have not used that statement, whoever wants. He will have said you should come back for Salatul Juma, but he said whoever wants should come. But if you don't want, you can stay home and pray your Salatul Juma if you have if you have uh, uh, observed your Salatul Eid. But in, due to our own and situation and that we will not be able to do Salatul Eid, so we will recommend it for our dear brother to try as much as possible to come uh, and pray Salatul Juma at Mosque Inshallah with the numbers of the uh, people. At a time, 50 people at a time. So when the aid also at uh, the Salatul Juma is still twice, first batch and second batch. So inshallah ta'ala, we pray it uh, from uh, one o'clock to one thirty, the first batch, and the second one also we commence immediately after the first batch. And inshallah by two o'clock we round up everything. So it is highly recommended if you want to come and observe Salatul Juma um, at a mosque, inshallah, you should come. But Salatul Eid, we're going to uh, do the uh, uh, activities virtually, inshallah, this year. So, but having said this, that doesn't mean that we should do, we, we, uh, we're not going to dress, we're not going to look nice. No, we should look nice, wear our good uh, outfit, look nice to so your wives, uh, wife, husband also should look nice. Uh, the wives also should look nice to uh, their husband. So both uh, husband, wife, the children, everybody, we need to dress good on this day. Uh, we take our siwak, we do our ghuslu, we pray our nafila, after that we do afkar. Then, inshallah, we record, we also advise those, uh, our brothers and sisters, that always uh, 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 slaughter uh, sheep, goat, cow for eat, place and place. If you want to do so, and the uh, uh, you find where or where to buy the cow or the goat, please go ahead and buy it. And inshallah, we are looking for a way to, uh, uh, to distribute it. So please and please, if you buy it, divide it the way the Prophet uh, um, um, encourage us to do. So take the one for your family, the one that you're going to give out to people. Then inshallah, we'll see how the masjid uh, will try to uh, uh, make an arrangement if you can bring 
some of your uh, the meat to mosque, the one that you want to distribute to people, then we can have uh, uh, the numbers of the brothers or we can have the information of anyone that wants it to come to mosque and we give it to them, inshallah ta'ala. So you don't need to start sending your money to Nigeria or any other country Why you can do your uh, 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 sacrifice uh, meat in this country. So if it is possible for you, please and please, we I, uh, we recommend it for you that to uh, keep your goods in this uh, eat and so that we can uh, the, distribute the made to our brothers and sisters, those who are in need of this uh, food. So this is just a meat of uh, baraka. So distribute it, you get reward. And all those who eat it also, they will get reward for eating the uh, the meat that their brother provided for them. This is how Islam wants us to um, the exchange love to each other. Okay, so Islam encourages us to do this in this, uh, this place. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us try as much as possible uh, to do all the ibadat that has been recommended in these uh, days. So I think for now, uh, I'm going to stop. Inshallah, if we have any question towards this, Inshallah, we can go forward from that. Inshallah. If you have any question and answer, please. Salam Okay, did you do Bowser? Thursday, am I Wednesday? Oh, yeah, yeah, for call. Thursday, you're uh -huh. like a Okay, Friday, or you like a Saturday, or you like a Sunday, or you like a no. Monday, to my baby, I love me about my short, sir. Check, okay, that's what you're like. Wednesday, am I by law? Did you do Thursday? Okay, 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 okay. For my dear, you're my son, man. I'm at your Wednesday, or you're like Thursday, okay. or okay. Friday, or Jeleke, Saturday, or Jeleke, oh. Sunday, okay. or Jeleke, Monday, okay. or Jeleke, Tuesday, okay. or Jeleke, Wednesday, okay. or Jeleke, Thursday, or Jeleke, Sunday. Okay. So, okay. 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 If I'm not going to I'm a brother Latin. Wednesday, Tombo. Wednesday. Eh, eh. Titi di. Thursday, Tombo. Long. Let's wiki wiki. Total. Long. Okay, okay sir. Hello, I'm going to ask you, sir. I'm going to ask you, sir. Salam, salam, salam. So, Colonel Masha Fuani, a boy or all or 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 Kolo ma sha shin ron feni kokon wa lati gba gba won aweta fe gba ni osu owo yi kolo ma sha shin ron fun wa lati le se opolopo tahajud ninu osu owo yi kolo ma sha shin ron fun wa lati le ki opolopo irun kolo ma sha shin ron fun wa gbo ibada ta fe se kolo ma sha shin ron fun wa ba kan na gbogun ta ba beere lowo olohun ninu osu kolo ma sha fi leni kokon wa lo kolo ma doju adua ti wa kolo ma sha gba duene kokon wa no, I'll be a team of your cattle. The pay 
is it compulsory to fast the nine days? It is not compulsory. It is highly recommended. It is not compulsory. If anyone doesn't fast in these days, he doesn't commit any sin. It is not haram. Okay, it is not obligatory, but it is highly recommended. And we have said earlier that if you cannot fast in the whole nine days, you can take some days to fast. Uh, and if you cannot take any days to fast due to any uh, health condition, we can do any other ibadah in the uh, in replacement of it, any other ibadah to replace it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for every one of us. And we get the same reward because if someone has the intention of fasting, but you cannot fast due to sickness or due to the health problems. So and he, he divert that ibadah to other ibadat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him uh, uh, as if he fast in this days. Because that's a narration from the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that say, uh, any action that the servant of Allah always do, so whenever he travel or he fall into sickness and he cannot come with it, Allah will reward him. Even though he doesn't do the action, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward him. Why? Because he doesn't say he doesn't choose to not do it, but it, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, the situation that warrants it. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for everyone of us. Can somebody that has not, it, uh, according to the scholar, some say, yeah, we can fast it because some scholars believe that uh, uh, we have the advantage, uh, the duration of uh, paying back the debt, fasting of Ramadan is still long to the next uh, Ramadan, upcoming Ramadan. So therefore, you still have advantage to fast the debt of Ramadan after uh, this uh, nine days fasting. So you can fast in these days, then after uh, eight, you can pay your debt back. Inshallah, and Allah will make it easy for every one of us to fast. So have the advantage of this blessed day. So it is highly recommended for us to fast and pay back our debt, Inshallah. Then I think our Imam also is here if he he wants to add anything for us towards the uh eat uh protocol and the, uh, his own observation also. Alhamdulillah, Jazakumullah khair. Um it is as stated, may Allah bless you and um, make us witness many, many, many more eat, inshallah. I know yes. Right. If we don't have any question and answer, we have uh, three minutes, inshallah. Uh -huh. The days of Eid, the days of Eid is four days. The Eid feast, the Eid days of uh, the, the celebration of Eid, it is uh, within four days in Islam. The Eid al-Akbar, the Eid al-Akbar, it is four days. First day, first day is number one. Then after the first day, we have another three days. So if you don't have the opportunity to slaughter your uh, your sacrifice sheep on the first day, you can do it on the second day. If you don't have the opportunity to, opportunity also in the second day, the third day is there, the fourth day, which is the last day. So you have uh, enough time to slaughter your uh, sacrifice sheep if you want to do so. Uh, but also at the same time, it is uh, not allowed, it is not uh, okay for you to fast on each day, it is highly 
uh, detested to fast on uh, on each day. So those four days, uh, it is our eat day. So we eat, enjoy ourselves, play with our family, uh, do any activities that we want to do in these days. Then inshallah, after those days, then we can start our voluntary fasting. So which is uh, the Friday is going to be on first day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So those days are eat day. So our Afghan, we, we continue doing it. The first day of Eid, the second day, the third day, the fourth day. The fourth day is going to last the our free time. As soon as we pray Maghrib time, it ends. So uh, before the Maghrib time, it ends. Because after the Maghrib, uh, we start another day in the Islamic calendar. So may Allah make it easy for everyone of us. If we don't have a question for now, uh, we'll call upon uh, Mr. President if he has any information to pass to us, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi wa now, Alhamdulillah, we pray that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward our ustas abundantly for this beautiful lecture and advice. So, <clears throat> I don't want I mean, to repeat everything they have told us about the Eid. Inshallah, as the, we have been advised, our Eid prayer is going to be factual, but our Friday prayer is going to hold as usual. So we are going to have uh, two Friday prayers. One we start at one o'clock and the second one we start at 1.30. So based on the city requirement, we are going to have just 50 people per session. So we advise our brothers and sisters to come with their prayer mat. So brothers. Uh, Nam? Brothers. We advise our brothers to come with their prayer mat. So, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it yeah, easy for us. So, as for the sacrificial animal, whoever wants to do this, we are going to share the information for all the halal store where we can get our animal and get them a slaughter the halal way. So, and also, as it has been recommended that whoever want to donate part of their sacrificial animal to members, we are making effort to uh, accept and distribute it on their behalf. So whoever want to do this, you can call us on the Nahim cell phone number 862-346-1947. The number again is 862-346-1945. This is just to let us know that you want to uh, donate part of your sacrificial animal to our members. And inshallah, we are going to work with you to make sure that this thing get to the right people. And also we want to uh, humbly request from you to please prepackage this thing into sizes that will be able to give to people mm. we want you to make sure that they are caught in sizes that will be able to easily distribute it to the people that we are going to give them to so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from all of us so we pray that uh, the aid that is coming may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the will the faith and the uh, acceptance to do the best of it during this period so uh, again, as we have always been doing, let us continue to support the masjid. Our donations is what we use to run the masjid. We continue to run the masjid despite the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and despite that we have moved uh, most of our activities uh, online. We continue to serve the community. We continue to do our best to keep 
uh, the masjid running. We pray that all your contribution, financially and morally, may Allah reward you for it. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to achieve the mission and vision of this uh, masjid. So we, we want to enjoin you to continue to support the work of Allah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to accept it from you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, we don't know maybe if anyone has any one or two things to say or to ask uh, towards their age. Assalamu alaikum. Um, again, just want to remind uh, all of our members uh, within the next five minutes, let us all donate. When it's ten dollars, twenty dollars, you can sell, you know, to naimexact at gmail.com. Let us do it within the next five, ten minutes. And I accept an act of the bad. Let us do it right now. Amen. Jazakumullah khair. So may Allah reward every one of uh, every one of you, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it as an act of ibadah from every one of us. Again, to remind our mothers, our sisters, uh, that uh, we will get to come also to, uh, to pre Juma, but due to the restriction uh, given by the government, and also to consider to honor you more, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honor women, and we have to honor you. Whatever any uh, danger that will have happened, we prefer men to go there to face it, to face it first. Then inshallah ta'ala, if everything is fine, then our mothers, our sisters, uh, we come in inshallah ta'ala. That's our, uh, uh, our uh, aims towards this. That is why we restricted women from this. It is not that uh, to make some, uh, men special, or to make men, uh, uh, the, or because men is are better than women. No, we are all equal in the sight of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So we do this to honor you, mothers, and you, our sisters. So we pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to ease our fears. We pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to take us out from this uh, pandemic. We pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to accept it as an 